What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you guys are wondering why I'm actually in my house right now, like inside and not outside, it is super windy outside. I don't know what's going on. Something pissed off the weather and it is just, it is going insane outside. So I, there's no way I could film. Like the wind is so bad that it, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but I'm bringing a different video to you guys today for Tackle Tuesday. And this one's gonna actually be over what's in my tackle box, as you guys could tell by the title of my video. And this is, might be a little bit of a series that I can do. Um, for this video, Is this is kinda gonna be an all around fishing tackle box that I would take with me, you know, if I'm gonna go to this pond over here, and then after that I'm gonna go over to this pond, I'm kinda hopping all over the place, I don't know what the conditions are like, I don't know how the water is, I don't know what kind of structures in the pond, I don't know how the fish are acting that day. This is an all around bass fishing tackle box to get you through that day. So, I'm gonna show you what I have in mind. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy. I just got a regular plano box, has little holes in it can breathe as you can tell all kinds of baits in there I mean you got oh my god you got all kinds of baits right up in there and um, this is gonna be a big variety because like I said when I'm going to ponds especially ponds I've never been to I don't know anything about you know what's that water clarity like um, you know how are those fish biting are they finicky is there grass I need to be punching um, is there some isolated grass down in the middle? I want to throw a rattle trap and rip that thing over. Is there some deep water? Is there a ditch? Or, you know, you never know. So that's why I want to build this box to be perfect. So when I go to other ponds that I can have the baits with me and I pick just a few variations of colors of each bait or I just have a few of each bait. So, um, diving into this, I do have a little worm right here. I want you guys to know. I do not keep my soft plastics in this box. This is mostly just hard baits. Soft plastics, I'll just throw in like a backpack. And um, what's very convenient about this, and um, when you guys build this, is you can just throw it right in your backpack, or you can put it in the back of your car, and uh, keep it there. Like this, in particular, at my house, I don't have any fishing tackle, but I do have this. So like when it comes down to me wanting to do a tip video, or me going out on the pond, and I'm like, oh, I think you're gonna buy this, I'll go out to this box and pick what I need. So let's go ahead and hop into this. So moving on to, uh, I'm gonna start off with jerk baits. You know, I got I got many of different styles of jerk baits in here. You know, this is a shallow, shallow diving jerk bait, natural color. Then I also have another natural color. That's actually a deeper diving jerk bait. So I got the shallow, I got the deep, and I'll also have a white jerk bait down in here as well, just to expand on the variety of colors and um, the depths I'm wanting that bait to go, depending on how those fish are acting. I also have a few variations of topwater walking baits. So this one right here, is actually called a repo man. It's similar to a spook. It's gonna have that smooth walking action. And this one is actually white with a little bit of sparkles on the bottom. It does have a green top, but you're not gonna see that too much. So it's more of a natural color with white on the bottom. This one's more of a bone white color. And this one's actually a gunfish. So as you can tell, it kind of has the mouth like a popper right in the front of it. So that's gonna be splashing up a little bit of water. So as you can tell, two different style of baits. You know, one day they might be biting this one better. Another day they might be biting this one. I also have a few spooks in here as well, one in chrome and one in bone white, because that's usually the colors that I usually stick and uh, fade towards is bone and also chrome. Frogs in here, I have this regular black frog right here. I got this hollow belly sunfish. I have another black frog and another little sunfish or a little bait fish that's similar to a frog it's just the hollow bellies so i actually do keep a good amount of frogs i also have a popping frog down right here in the bottom this frog right here which is not a hollow belly frog really great for covering water throwing it over some pads throwing it over some grass um rig it weedless it's a really great bait really great search bait as well um as if you're trying to cover a lot of water really fast trying to figure out where those fish are at that's a good bait um but yeah i keep a variety of colors as you can tell this is this is a little sunfish but this one's in white and then you got the frogs most of the time when i throw a frog i do throw a black frog personally that's my personal preference is either black or white in frogs but got a few of those bad boys in there i have some rattle traps in here this is actually just a red eye shad and um, as you can tell, a lot of rattles in this one. I do have some more rattle traps in here that are one knockers. And um, if you guys don't know what a one knocker is, if you hold the rattle trap and you shake it, it's just gonna be one big clack. It's not gonna be like all those beads moving around. That's something I'll have in there because some of those days those fish are really finicky. They're wanting just a one knocker. 
or um, they're wanting something that's gonna rattle a lot to get their attention. So just depending on how those fish are wanting. Black and blue jigs, I actually have a few of these in here. I usually limit stuff to just one or two baits, but I actually have four of these black and blue jigs. And the reason I have black and blue is because most of the ponds that I go to and most of the places where I'm traveling are dirty water, you know, really, really dirty water, stained water. So I'm gonna be wanting to throw a black and blue jig personally. Um, black and red works as well, but I also have some natural colored jigs, but the big majority of my jigs are going to be for dirty water because most of those places I'm traveling, um, quick areas, are going to be dirty water. I have a few swim baits right here, and this is like a little herring. Then you got kind of like this bullshad style swim baits right here, and these are actually some baits I actually keep in here as well. I have a smaller size um, little herring bait. Most of the time, you know, a lot of people are gonna be throwing in big swim baits, but I tend to have them on me just in case. Um, like right now, it's very, very, very windy outside. And honestly, I wouldn't mind picking that bad boy up and starting to burn it out there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd end up catching some fish. But all in all, if you guys don't have the budget to buy these products, um, I completely understand. And um, I mean, I've had these, had these baits forever. Like these right here, and I actually got some of these on sale. So that's just what I have. I'm not saying like you have to have certain baits in this box. This is just my personal preference on what I have to where I take to all different ponds. Another bait, which is a buzz bait. I don't have any other colors except for this black guy right here. So I usually use a black buzz bait. I usually don't, you know, fade around on colors. Like if I'm gonna go to the river or I'm gonna go somewhere stained water and I'm throwing a buzz bait, 95% of the time I'm throwing a black buzz bait. That's just what I've had luck on and that's what I like the best. And that's just my personal preference. I also have some crankbaits, some square bill crankbaits in here. I will have some medium divers and also a few deep divers that I will carry in here. Most of the time I won't carry like super deep diving crankbaits just because most of the time when you're fishing those ponds, most of them are shallow. Most of them have a lot of crap on the bottom and you're not really gonna wanna be throwing that. But I do have a lot of rattle traps in here, square bill crankbaits and also medium diving crankbaits in this box. Overall guys, that's everything in this travel box that I will carry. I also have a few poppers in here and chatter baits as I didn't state in the video. But overall, that's usually the mass majority of baits I do keep in this pretty decent sized tackle box. So very convenient. You can throw it in the back of your backpack. You can throw it in the back of your truck. Get on to where you're going. Have all the baits that you need. And also, I would usually carry like a backpack where I would put soft plastics in. So I'd have, you know, my June bugs, my dark colors. Then I have my watermelons and uh, green pumpkins. Have all the colors condensed in there as well. Also with the hooks and the weights. Um, but mostly like the big box I carry is just hard baits and also like frogs and um, stuff like that. But worms and everything, I will and like crawls, I will keep in a separate box and just throw it in the back of my truck. But either way, you can throw all this stuff into like a backpack, throw it on your back. You literally have every bait that you're gonna possibly need for the situation and still not carry a lot of tackle because I see it as if people tend to bring a lot of tackle and they they over prepare. They over prepare really hard and honestly, I'm guilty guilty for that. So something I've done in the past couple of years was make a box like this with all different types of baits, but just a major, like just a tiny tiny bit of what I have. So like if I was going to get a spook, you know, I might only bring one or two and different color variations so I can switch to the conditions and not just bring, you know, my whole box where I have a whole nother box and it's just taking up way too too much space. And especially uh, if you guys don't have much space in your truck or you're just not wanting to make a mess or bring a lot of stuff along in general, this is definitely the way to go. But overall guys, I want to show this quick tip to you guys. I apologize for possibly making this video a little bit too long. This is something I really wanted to make pretty fast and uh, you guys get a lot of tips out of something that you guys can use next time you get to a pond or next time you get to a different lake or next time you get fish with one of your buddies on his boat. You can always take this along with you and it's gonna be perfect because you're gonna have all the baits that you need for that day no matter what the situation is. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for Thursday's video. I'm gonna be doing a little quick tip video. Also, if you haven't checked out Sunday's video, be sure to go check it out. It's uh, I actually did a tackle shopping video in Dick's Sporting Goods, and I also ran a giveaway inside that video. So be, good, be sure to go check that out. I'll leave the link below. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
24-7, an understatement to my day-to-day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Nigga say, say.